Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent Sunsea consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I am back this morning, early this morning, um, to share with you guys a new announcement Sunsea made. Um, yesterday they announced the Bring Back Your Bar winners for our July 2024 promotion. And I wanted to do a reaction video. I know there's a lot of consultants. There was some within like minutes of the announcement launching on our consultant workstations, like hold up a video and that's fine. You know, they want to be the first, that's fine. But I wanted to gather my thoughts and do a reaction video. I did take like a snapshot, like two minutes before the voting period ended as to what had a top 25 like sticker on it. So I'm gonna share that and then I'm gonna share what actually won and some of the like new things that are gonna be happening with Bring Back Your Bar. So let's get started. Okay. So as of the voting period ending, these are the scents that had a top 25 sticker on them that I recorded. We had Apple Crush, Bergamot and Solar Driftwood, Berry's Jubilee, Berry Bubble Blue, Blackberry Meringue, Breakfast Blend, Buzzworthy, Candy Dandy, Coconut Daiquiri, Dark Harbor, Dolce Leche, Eggnog, Farmer's Market, Gingerbread Hugs, Highway Run, Irish Cream, Juicy Peach, Lemon Verbena, Lime and Sugar Cane, Maleficent, Maple Butter, Red Delicious, Reggae Sunset, Sea Salt Mist, and Sea Sun and Fun. So those are what had a top 25 sticker on them and had a chance of becoming the selected top 20. And then who knows what the CEO um, interim Dan Orchard was gonna pick. You guys. I'm a little shocked on some of these winners. So Apple Crush did end up making it. Um, apple Crush is green apple sweet and sweet apple blossom. It was a fall and winter 2016 new release to the kids fragrance line. So it's been a while since it's been available. I'm not mad about that. Um, it would be nice to have another like apple scent besides Johnny Appleseed. Um, I think the green apple and the sweet apple blossom might be perfect for, for summer. So I'll be um, interested to try that. Bergamot and Solar Driftwood did not make the list, but Berries Jubilee did. And I had a funny feeling Berries Jubilee would because I know Lisa Roberry pushed that scent a lot. Um, Berries Jubilee, it was the scent of the month for June of 2014. It's got summer berries, whipped cream, and vanilla. I'm going to be interested to see how different Berries Jubilee is to our new scent for spring and summer, which is called Berry Sweet, because it's almost around the same thing. This one has summer berries, Berry Sweet has blueberries and strawberries, but they both have aspects of whipped cream and vanilla. So it will be interesting to see the differences in the two. So I think that will be interesting to have. Berry Bubble Blue made the list. Um, that was a fall winter new release in 2015. It's got blue raspberry, tart green apple and spun sugar. So kind of like a blue raspberry, apple, cotton candy type of thing. So again, I think that was a kid's line. So it will probably be a nice, like fruity, fun sign. Blackberry, uh, sorry, Blackberry Meringue made the list. Um, I was excited for that one because that is a really nice bakery. It's a very nice light bakery and it's got fig in it. So if you are missing fig scents, then it's be a good one to have. It was a spring and summer new release in 2016 and they did bring it back in Bring Back Your Bar 2018. And that was the last time it was offered. It's got blackberry, black plum, sugared fig, and some spices, but not a lot of spices. So don't be put off by that if you don't like spice. It's just a little bit of hint just to bring like a warmth to the bar. So I was happy for that one. Breakfast Blend did come back. I voted for that one. I prefer Breakfast Blend over Coffee Tree and Perk Me Up. Um, Breakfast Blend was a fall and winter new release in 2018 and it's just brewed coffee. That's all it is. So I'm happy for that one. Buzzworthy did make it back. Um, it was a scent of the month for May of 2020. There is a following to the bar. There's a lot of people that like it. It's sugar and almond, creamy vanilla, and sweet honey. I didn't personally like it, but to me, I don't like honey that much. So that's probably why I didn't like it. So Candy Dandy did not make it, um, but Coconut Citrus Parfait made the list. 
Now this one I'm completely shocked on and surprised and this is why I think Bring Back Your Bar voting is kind of rigged because Coconut Citrus Parfait never had a top 25 sticker on it the entire voting period. The entire voting period it never had a top 25. So how within <coughs> excuse me the last 24 hours of voting how did that gain enough votes to surpass Candy Dandy, which had been in the top 25 practically the entire voting period for those three days. That I don't think. I don't think, I don't think enough people in 24 hour period sat there and voted for Coconut Citrus Parfait and it gained enough votes to surpass any of these others that were in the top 25 list. I don't believe that whatsoever. But Coconut Citrus Parfait, the earliest catalog that I could find it in was in 2007. It's got creamy coconut milk, vanilla bean, and a hint of citrus. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it is, but I'm kind of shocked on that one. Coconut Daiquiri made the list. I knew that was going to make the list because there was a lot of people that did enjoy that fragrance. Um, we did recently have it in our body care line, but they discontinued that scent in the body care line. It was originally a summer collection limited time offer in 2021. It's got coconut milk, banana, and vanilla cream. I like it. I've only liked it in body care though, so it'll be interesting to get a bar to actually warm for like wax purposes, but I am glad that one did come back because I did vote for that one. Dolce Leche finally made the list. You guys, this scent has been hanging in the top 25 list for at least six Bring Back Your Bar voting rounds. Like it is so close to making it and then it never makes the cut. So finally it did. It was a new fall and winter scent in 2012. It's got golden custard, sugary caramel, rich cream, warm vanilla. I think if you're missing vanilla waves, Dolce Leche is gonna, probably going to be a good alternative for you. So I'm happy about that. So one. eggnog did not make the list, sadly, but Farmer's Market did. I am so happy. Thank you to anybody that threw a vote to this fragrance. I am so happy to get this one back. It was such a great scent that was underappreciated when it was available. Um, it was a new release in spring and summer of 2019 and then it was never in the catalog ever again. It's got carrots, cucumber, and rose, but don't let the scent notes put you off by the bar. It is the freshest, greenest, most beautiful what? summer fragrance ever. And I'm so lucky that we have it back because I can finally warm this bar now. And I'm actually gonna put it in the warmers this weekend because it's sweaty, but I know I'm getting it back so I can happily warm it now, so. Yay! Um, gingerbread Hugs did not make it, but Happy Go Lucky did. Again, Happy Go Lucky never had a top 25 sticker on it. It never had it the entire voting period. So how it surpassed Gingerbread Hugs, I have no idea. Happy Go Lucky was a scent of the month in January of 2013. It was brought back in Bring Back Your Bar 2016. It's got red berries, silky orchid, jasmine, no, it's not jasmine, sorry, Japanese plum and amber vanilla. It seems to me like it's kind of like almost like a coconut vanilla orchid type of thing. Um, I'm not like into this fragrance, but again, I think this is why it's rigged because it did not have a top 25 sticker. However, it was enough to get into the list. Doesn't make sense. So Highway Run did make the list. Um, so. That girl that wanted this sent back, I mean, she networked. She went on every YouTuber's channel and was like, please throw a vote to this, and it worked, and she got it back. So super, super happy for her. Um, it was a fall and winter new fragrance in 2015. It's got eucalyptus bud, cedar, amber, and vetiver grass. I actually have it. Um, it's definitely a man fragrance. It, it, you have to like weathered leather in order to like this bar. You really do. It's very, very strong on the amber, cedar, the vetiver. You smell it all. So definitely something if you like masculine fragrances, that's for sure. So Irish Cream did not make the list. Juicy Peach did. Um, that was a new scent in 2006. And it was brought back and Bring Back Your Bar 2016. And it's just described as sweet, juicy peach. So I think that'll be perfect for the summertime. We really don't have just a peach scent. There's always like peach and like something else added to it. I think right now what we have for peach is um, the Easter collection, which is coming up at the end of the month. It's got peach, grapefruit, mimosa. Um, that would be the only one currently that we've got some peach in it. Lemon Verbena made it. I am so stinking grateful for that. Oh my God. So happy that this is 
back so I can put it in my club. It was a new spring and summer set in 2014. It was in the catalog on and off and on and off. Uh, it's fresh lemon zest, kefir, lime, and vegan leaf. If you like cocoa lime, if you like the pineapple dragon fruit, you're gonna love this hunt. You even like coconut lemongrass. Lemon verbena is top notch. I absolutely love this one. Lime and sugar cane made the list, which I was also super grateful for. I forgot how good lime and sugar cane was. Um, it was a spring and summer new release in 2017. It's got lime, sugar cane, and frozen mint. I'll be happy to try that one again. Not sure if I'm going to club it because I do have lemon verbena back, but it'll be nice to get at least stocked up on that fragrance again if I don't club it. Unfortunately, Maleficent and Maple Butter did not make the cut for some reason. Red Delicious did. Um, the earliest info I could find on Red Delicious, it was in a catalog in 2008. And it was brought back in Bring Back Your Bar in 2016. It's just listed as crisp, juicy apples. That's it. So I think it'll be another great apple scent to have besides Johnny Appleseed. Reggae Sunset, that did make the cut. Um, last catalog I could find it, or the earliest catalog I can find it in was in 2010. It's got juicy mandarin, orange blossoms, lime, and spices. Personally, I've never had Reggae Sunset, so it'll be interesting to try it because I do like mandarin scents and I do like lime, so that'll be interesting to try. Sea Salt Mist made the cut. It was a scent of the month in May of 2015, brought back for Bring Back Your Bar in 2019. It's got driftwood, beach grass, ocean mist, sea salt, mandarin, and amber. Whole bunch of a mouthful. I think I'm probably gonna like it, um, but I'll be interesting to try it because we did lose Shoreline Drive and Sand Swept and all of that. So it'll be good to have that one again. And then Sea Sun and Fun did make it. I know a lot of people were voting for that. I know Liz Quinn's probably gonna be really excited to get that one back and Melissa Johnson Hate. Um, they talked about it on their channels. It was a fall and winter new release in 2015. They did bring it back in Bring Back Your Bar in 2018. It's got sea salt, orange twist, lemon, uh, lemon, lily petals, and sunny amber. So I think that will be all right to try. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it or not, but I'll, I've never had it, so I'm, in, I'm intrigued to try it. Um, and then the last on the list is Surfer Chick. Again, Surfer Chick never had a top 25 sticker on it at all during the entire three days that we had a voting period. So how the heck that surpassed Gingerbread Hogs, Irish Cream, Maleficent, Maple Butt, I have no idea. Again, this is why I think it's rigged. Um, Surfer Chick, Earliest I found it was in a 2012 catalog. It was brought back in Bring Back Your Bar in 2016. It's got bubbly lemon tonic, guava, sweet cherries, and blackberries. Sensi can't do guava. They have already proven that with guava nectar and guava honey. So why someone would want to bring back Surfer Chick, I have no idea, but I don't know. So to wrap that up or to summarize, the top 20 that won were Apple Crush, Berries Jubilee, Berry Bubble Blue, Blackberry Meringue, Breakfast Blend, Buzzworthy, Coconut Citrus Parfait, Coconut Daiquiri, Dolce Leche, Farmer's Market, Happy Go Lucky, Highway Run, Juicy Peach, Lemon Verbena, Lime and Sugar Cane, Red Delicious, Reggae Sunset, Sea Salt Mist, Sea Sun and Fun, and Surfer Chip. So those are the top 20. Then Dan Orchard, the interim CEO of Sensi, he picks five. So out of the five he picked, he picked Dark Harbor. Dark Harbor was a spring and summer new release in 2015. They brought it back in Bring Back Your Bar 2019 and 2021. So, <laughs> right there, that doesn't fall in within that five year criteria. Um, so another reason why I think it's rigged. Um, it's got kefir lime, blue green mint, oceanic lavender and amber. I actually have a bar of it. It's an all right masculine scent. I don't care for it too much. I don't know. It smells kind of soury, but this is really old. This is when it was a bring back your bar. So, all right. So he picked dark harbor and then the other one he picked was lemon lavender. This one I'm interested in because I had said previously like in a predictions video that if they were going to do a sunspiration for spring that they should do like squeeze a day and do like a lemon lavender or lemon lilac type of thing not like lemon drizzle cake but a lemon lavender I think would do really well and we have I don't know if we still have it or not but we have a lemon lavender like diffuse oil by Sunsea so 
Um, the earliest I could find on lemon lavender was that it was a bring back your bar scent in 2018. It's just described as tangy lemon and sweet lavender. So I am interested to try that one. Um, he also picked sandalwood and cranberries. This was a bring back your bar in 2015. That was the earliest info I could find. It's got exotic sandalwood, sweet cranberries, and spice. It seems like it would be a fall scent, so I don't know how I feel about that one. Shaka, he picked Shaka. Shaka, again, like Dolce Leche and Dark Harbor, they are so close every voting period to be voted back, but they never make that top 20 cut. So they finally brought back Shaka. Um, it was a new scent in spring and summer of 2014. It's got sandalwood, bergamot, and lime. It's basically a masculine fragrance. I do like it. I just don't like it enough to club it. But any bars that I've had of Shaka have been older pours, so it would be nice to get a fresher pour on it and see what the difference is. And then the last one he picked was Wild Watermelon. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was a fall, uh, winter new release in 2015 for the kids fragrance line. They did bring it back and bring back your bar 2019. It's watermelon, green apple, and pineapple. So another kid fruity fragrance. So those are the five he picked and then the top 20. And then they did let us know there's a little bit of a twist now for bring back your bar, at least for this round for July, that they are going to offer the scent. There's five of them that they're going to offer in wax bar and pod fragrances. So the five that they've chose to offer not only in wax bar, but in pod for July is Wild Watermelon, Shaka, Dark Harbor, Lemon Verbena, and Happy Go Lucky. So I'm excited about the Lemon Verbena, but it also makes me wonder, because three out of the five scents he chose were scents that they were gonna choose for this pod thing so again that's another reason why i think it's kind of rigged so overall i'm not that mad about the list i'm extremely thankful that the five fragrances that i kept voting for got voted back so i voted for breakfast blood coconut daiquiri farmer's market lemon verbena and lime and sugar cane i was throwing all of my votes to persia lime and sandalwood that entire first day and then when the second day came and it didn't even have a top 25 sticker on it i was like all right i'm just gonna throw my votes to what's in the top 25 and keep it in the top 25. So I'm thankful for that my sense came back. My club is definitely gonna have to have some edits to include some of these um, come July. But again, some of these I'm not happy about because they didn't have a top 25. So it's not fair that, you know, things like gingerbread hugs and maple butter and Maleficent that had a sticker that were being consistently voted on didn't even stand a chance. So, and then I did notice that out of all the 25 cents that they chose, there was a consistent theme of fragrances with apple notes, with lime notes, with coconut notes, and with vanilla. So I think those four oils they had an abundant amount of, and they chose scents that they could use it up on because there are so many apple scents in here. There's so many scents with coconut or coconut milk, um, vanilla, there's like a whole bunch with vanilla in it, and then lime, there's a whole bunch with lime. So I think that had something to play in with what was chosen too. But am I gonna vote every time Bring Back Your Bars offered? Yes, I'm gonna vote and I'm just still gonna play, but just know that Sometimes there's a method to their madness with these promotions, but I'm not mad about it. I'm excited. Um, these fragrances that I'm talking about in this video will not be available to the general public until July 1st, 2024. Consultants like myself will be able to get the early access kit sometime in June. So I'll be able to get those in and then I can do first sniffs with you guys and go from there. So that will be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys like this announcement video and my honest raw reactions because I can't be anything else but that. So thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing and I'll talk to you later. Bye.